What you are seeing right now is the application called MATLAB. MATLAB comes from the two words matrix laboratory. And while it's a very powerful calculation tool and programming tool, it really centers around matrices, which is something we'll be talking about in subsequent videos. Today, I just want to talk a little bit about starting with MATLAB and the windows. What we're looking at is version 2008B. And again, to look at the version, you can go to the help window and about MATLAB, and you notice that we're dealing with R2008B, which is the most current version. In that version, you could configure windows within MATLAB in various ways. And what I have done is configured it in a way that's similar to previous versions of MATLAB. You see basically four windows, even though it appears to be three windows. The main window is called the command window. And the command window is where you're going to be looking at a, his, a the applications or the commands that you're going to be typing in as well as looking in the answers. On the left, you actually will see two different windows. One is called a workspace and one is called current directory. The workspace will show the variables that you have in your command window. The current directory will show any applications, and you notice there are a number of them, including files that end in .m, which we'll be again talking about in subsequent lessons. You also have a bottom left window called command history, which has history of what you've typed in. Just as an example, if I click in the command window and type 2 plus two, and I hit the Enter key, you notice I get the answer four. If I go down the command window, I see exactly what I did in terms of the history. And if I go up to the workspace, I see a variable called ANS, which is a variable called answer. And if I double click on that, I get actually a window, and it shows just one item with the number four. I can close this window and I get back to the original configuration. Again, if I were to type in a variable, which we'll be talking about in the next lesson, I'll call it x equals three, and I hit the Enter key. You notice now in the workspace, I have a variable called x. It has a value three. And if I go down to the command history, I have that same command. If I click on the command history, I can actually drag it into the command window and once again invoke that same command. There are other windows you'll be seeing in other videos, especially the figure window. You can also configure this in a number of different ways by going to the menu bar to desktop and actually changing layouts. If you notice, when I go to the desktop layout, there are actually a number of different layouts. There's a default layout, and you notice how that changed. So now I have a director on the left, the command window in the middle. I can go back to desktop, back to desktop layout, and I can go to something called normal, and that gate brings me back to my standard window. You can move windows around by clicking and dragging, so I again can configure this. My suggestion is try to configure it in this way, because most of the time you're gonna be in the command window.